Uh, that was absolutely inappropriate. I wasn't gonna hit you anyway. Uh, you, you, that, yeah, that was unneeded. Oh, free for all's not going too good for me. This is just not fun. It's just not fun at all, getting melted like this. Look, it's a bunch of people on two bars too. I, uh... He actually just copied the ever-living shit out of me. That couldn't have been any more perfect. I mean, like, okay, instincts, I get it. Someone's aiming at me and about to melt my ass. Doesn't fucking matter. I don't even know why I put this on. Maybe it's just a bad lobby. I don't fucking know. I was not having a good time in free-for-all. Everybody keeps telling me, free-for-all's great. Free-for-all's this, free-for-all's that. Uh, mm, not so far. Okay. It's just all grips. You think I give a shit about grips? My hand is over it. This is one of my favorite things in the entire game. Just this. His face. As you guys can see, we are second prestige now. Second prestige level 20. I don't really know what I'm gonna name this video or anything. I don't have any ideas. I'm just playing, chilling. Uh, but I did finish out all of the diamond assault rifles. I'll show you guys, you know, a couple of them. I don't have all of them unlocked anymore because I did prestige, but I got like four or five of them that I can show you guys uh, just with the diamond camo on them. I tweeted out a picture of it and everybody's like, holy fuck, you're actually doing this. Why? I just wanted to get the assault rifles out of the way because that was the longest thing because it's the biggest category. Most guns that I would have to do the most challenge. He went pro. I'm aware that it's probably not the hardest. I think the pistols and shit like that are gonna be the biggest challenge. Like the weird miscellaneous shit, like doing all the pistols. And also, I didn't think about this, but also, I think I have to actually get gold camo or whatever for the shovel. There's camouflages for the shovel. And I'm pretty sure I have to get multiple bloodthirsties with a fucking shovel. I'm not a knifer. I'm not good at this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, man. Free for all is just, it might not be for me anymore. I don't know. I used to play free for all a lot, even exclusively. Now, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe if I actually find like the really popular spots, the really high traffic areas to go off on, I'm assuming it'd be this area right here. Ah! I'm just an awful shot right now too. I, I can't fucking, somebody's aiming at, I actually want to turn off instincts. I thought instincts would be really good for free for all, but it actually just triggers the shit out of me. Like right there, I know someone's aiming at me. I get it. It's alerting me, but I don't know where from. I'm out. I'm out. I'm fucking gone. I'm done! I don't have these fucking flash reaction times anymore, man. Fuck this shit. Instinct's one of the worst things I've ever used in my life. And the Springfield's not the issue, I promise. I and mean, I haven't drank much G Fuel today, but I don't think that's gonna help me very much. And just fucking look at me. I think I'm just gonna be a, a normie sniper from now on. No more trying to be uh, special and shit playing free for all. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with uh, the old the average uh, kill confirm slash domination slash team deathmatch slash hopefully, please, Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield add ground war sniper. It wouldn't even be too crazy, honestly. The majority of these maps, I think, eh, what do we have? Like nine maps, it's the lowest amount that we've had in Call of Duty history. I see everybody like, you know, complaining about it. Not that I condone or I'm happy with getting less maps or any shit like that. It's just, I mean, really, I feel like you can play ground war on all of these maps. I mean, you can do ground war on this map, London Docks. You can do ground war on Gust of Cannon. You can do ground war on St. Marie. I feel like you could do ground war on at least, you know, seven or so of the nine maps that are available. I haven't played Keratin. I haven't gone into the playlist or anything, but. I'm incoming. Get to cover. Seriously? Me? Me! Sensitivity feels a little bit too high just because I've been using a red gun for so long. I turn my sensitivity down whenever I'm not sniping. So whenever I do switch over to sniping, uh, coming back over seems to be a little weird for me, especially on this game. Usually I didn't have much of a problem doing that on like MW2, MW3, BO2, anything like that. Ooh, flat. Single. Usually I didn't have an issue with going up and down in sensitivity uh, before, but multiple hours just straight using a lower sensitivity than I'm used to. I just have to readjust. It'll be really great when I'm finished with all of this. Even if there's no camo at the end of the entire grind. Uh, oh, please. I'm finally getting the sniping. The fuck is that? I can't be the only one that saw that shit on like Twitter or Facebook or wherever it was. Where there was a spider or a black widow or something inside of someone's headset. Right on the ear. That shit scares me every single time a hair tickles my ear or something with my headset on. Wait, that was a collab. That was, I didn't even see a second guy. Did I wall bang him or something? Or was he actually behind us? Oh, wait, we're going to be able to see right here. No, oh, it was just a wall bang. Holy shit, there was no one else there. What the fuck? I did put FMJ on. I took ballistic calibration off and put FMJ on. FMJ is serious. I honestly, it's just lucky bullshit, but uh, yeah. Oh, speaking of lucky bullshit, you guys can go check it out on the FaZe Clan channel if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, I did mention that, yeah, we're uploading a whole bunch now, uh, which is great. I'm happy. But uh, as you guys know, FaZe Kitty back in the beta ended up hitting a quad collat on Gibraltar with the Springfield. Uh, it was actually quad collat to single for the five on, which is a, that was the best clip on the beta. 
beta. This is absolutely ridiculous. It's fun. Last night I was in a call with him and uh man did it again he hit another quad he hit a second quad this time it was single to quad on saint marie i believe it was uploaded on the face clan the reactions were just ridiculous dude the whole fucking boot camp thing is so cool yeah i don't know how i would have recorded all my videos there otherwise it would have turned into like these silent slash like reaction highlight videos and i never was the type of person to do highlight videos at least the classic call of duty highlights videos anyway where you know they'll just put some chill ass music in the background maybe talk a little bit and then just you know play highlights for five to ten minutes or so me i just i don't really do that and i don't know if i would have done that if i had gone to this whole boot camp thing but a part of me kind of regrets not going just because it's so fucking cra all the shit that's happening there is insane all the clips that people are hitting blue also hit a quad headshot fee i don't get it this shit is so fun i'm getting through all these camo challenges and don't worry i'll, I'll contribute i'll contribute at some point somehow am i gonna hit a quad the rest of my years playing call of duty however long that is i'm no i'm probably never gonna hit another quad the only quad that i can have actual proof of that i've hit i can say that i hit two of them i know in myself i hit two of them them at least. What? Denied. What the fuck? He just robbed the shit out of me. He took my two tags and then whoever the party leader was just backed them out. And so he hit a quad collat again. Um, I, I don't know how the fuck that even happened. There's always this delayed reaction every single time someone hits something like that. Where usually you can call out a triple when you're seeing it in front of you. You say it out loud and then you hit it or you hit it and then instantly say triple. But with a quad, you have to take that extra second to realize I just hit a fucking quad. I have to make sure it's four people. That, that's exactly what he did. He hit it and you saw the reaction on his face. Oh quad. Second time is fucking bullshit. Everybody crowds around to see it for play of the game. There's obviously nothing better is gonna be hitting that game. Everybody's standing around in a circle, a bunch of people coming out from all different angles of the face cam, swarming in to see this shit. Blue sitting in the background just gazing over like, yeah, fucking right. I saw some people down in the comment section yesterday when I talked about the pistols. By the way, yeah, I got this uh, heroic pistol right here. This motherfucker is clean. This guy's cute. People were telling me that the pistols were insane. I just, no, I disagree. I still disagree. He started shooting just because he saw me out of the corner of his eye. I mean, look at that shit. He started shooting before he even actually was on me. What the fuck is up with people on Monday? If I get sound horde one more time, I might just have to put on a different basic training to keep people from hearing me because I'm sick and tired of it. Not that that's going to save me, you know, with my shit shot, but the cleanest Springfield shot, by the way. I'll show you guys the diamond camo on the assault rifles. Not in game. So right here, we've already got the diamond camo on the sniper rifles. We go over to the rifle category and here's the diamond on them. I do have this battle watch, this epic version of this gun, but for whatever reason, I guess because it's epic, camo looks absolutely atrocious on here. Like, looks all rusty. You go through all the camouflages and it hardly changes the gun like hardly even when you put gold on it things like that and here is diamond it literally it makes it doesn't even look like diamond uh, i'd rather just use the default so i can actually see my camo got the diamond grand here some chips and stuff like that which is actually kind of annoying because it takes away from how clean it's supposed to look but oh wait the stg has to look real nice for some reason i feel like the assault rifles look way better with diamond than the sniper rifles do probably because they have more edges more bezels and shit at the bar i actually tweeted out a picture of the bar when i got the diamond camo just letting people know like yeah those are all done Every time I finish a category, I just want to tweet it out just because I feel a sense of accomplishment. And I'm like, guys, please, please tell me I'm doing a good job so I don't stop. So please tell me I'm doing a good job. I think the bar definitely looks pretty close to the best. The diamond on the SVT doesn't look so good. It's a lot of scratches and stuff like that. But next up, we have the submachine guns. The rifles, all of those, there were seven of them that I needed to get gold in order to unlock diamond. So there's four sniper rifles, seven rifles, six submachine guns, four LMGs, four shotguns, three pistols, and a shovel. I think I have to actually do the shovel challenges. I think I have to unlock all of the camos for the shovel as well to complete every single camo challenge. Also, they brought the leaderboards out here. We are number 3,317. Over a day played already, but that's nothing in comparison to the people at the top here. This guy is, I think that's seventh prestige. Somehow that doesn't really make sense. I don't know if it's bugged or not. I mean, the score per minute is a little weird looking, but that's happening for a bunch of random things. Like even the optic road to prestige down here at number 15 has a negative score per minute. And that's just not right. So it's just probably not being recorded properly, but this dude right here, that seventh prestige, is two prestiges ahead of the number one guy with less total score, less played games, and an entire less day played. I, I don't understand. I don't understand how this guy is seventh prestige. He must be doing some next level shit or it's, I don't know. I mean, whatever he's doing specifically, I kind of want to know. Good luck trying to get 100 headshots with this gun and then this gun and that gun. It was actually a little bit easier, even though there was a lot more rifles. At least they could be accurate over distances. With these, I have to actually get close and spray at people's heads. And I can't just have like a controlled fire at people's heads with an SMG. There's just no way it's not going to happen. Might just go to TDM. Kill confirmed isn't going so hot for me. Usually it goes pretty well. I don't run into that many bad lobby, quote, bad lobby. 
Yachty. Now, also, apparently Lil Yachty joined Faith. I don't fucking know. I don't know if it's a legit join in Faith. I don't know how the fuck this shit works anymore. A lot of talking about, like, yeah, Phase 5. We need a Phase 5 to recruit the players and shit like that. And I think they already said that they wanted Phase 5 to actually be, like, a TV show type of thing. I don't know if it's specifically for players or anything. It's just, like, a bunch of different type of shit. There doesn't need to be a Phase 5 for people to get recruited. I mean, I don't have the power. But if I did, there wouldn't need to be a Phase 5 for me to, you know, get some people. I got a surefire number one in my head that I want in 100%. I think a lot of other people already know who I would want in here. But somebody that has deserved it a really long time. Really good player. And he would help a lot with Team Tasha's. You can guess it down in the comment section if you want who I would recruit if I could. Hey, I'm just saying if Apex or anybody is watching this shit, I wouldn't go crazy with recruiting or anything like that. Just a couple people. No, if it's too many, I ain't gonna, you know, recruit anybody that's fucking stupid. G gonna get a general feel, ask questions around before I start, you know, picking anybody up. I'm just saying. Gotti followed, like, so many people in face. <laughs> I don't fuck, I don't know what's going on. Ever talk to the guy? I don't know, what the fuck? Talk, it was just the most random shit. I thought he was hacked or something. Tweeted, at FaZe Clan, I won it. We're like, alright. Recruiting rappers and shit. And that's game. Had a really shitty time sniping today. Well, did get the highlight, though. Got one right there. Got two right there. Went around the corner, saw this poor soul. Clean Springfield shit. Oh, we're pretty much below average, actually, but it'll get there. Just let me get this shit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for all the support on the videos recently. It's been crazy sub growth and views and just everything has just been crazy through the roof right now. It's amazing to see how this community is coming together. Things are getting competitive again. Hopefully not to the point to where it's going to be not fun, but it's nice to see that people are competitive again just because they care. They care again. So it's a really cool thing to see. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My most recent videos are popping up on the screen here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, yeah, it's been Jeb guys.